Pastor Wilbur Allen III here, and I just want to share with you a Christmas reflection. And our point of departure is from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. It is in the second chapter. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Then over in verse number 10, the scripture says, When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshiped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. This is a one of the most telling stories of the arrival of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, some describe these men who came to worship our Lord. Some said he was, they were kings. Others say wise men. But the word that really uh, we should consider is magi. And of course, magi comes from the Greek term magos. Um, even from a Persian term, which is magus. Now, the interesting thing, these Persian scientists Magus is a Persian word, and it ties into a priestly caste who served as astrologers. And so being astrologers is, is associated with wise men as well as being kings, even though they were not rulers. The critical thing is I think we should consider with these magi, some say it was 12 who visited Jesus, the Eastern Church recognizes 12, whereas the Western Church recognizes just the three. But one critical thing that we really must really consider is the fact that these men who were from outside the household of Israel, from a foreign country or countries, come to worship Jesus the Christ. So when we consider this, wise men, astrologers, scientists, coming from the East, seeking to worship the Christ. Therefore, Jesus ushers in, his birth ushers in really a global movement or a global church. So here we are in the 21st century in America. I think we can take a lesson from the Magi, the astrologers, Yes, even the scientists. What we can learn from these individuals is the fact they left their country seeking, seeking to worship the Christ. Christmas should be a time where we seek to worship the Christ, the Savior, the Messiah of the world. And I want to challenge each and every one of you that even in the coming year, 2023, let us take time in our busy schedules, in our daily routines, take time to seek and worship the Christ, for he is our savior of our sins. So as the Magi, as the wise men, as the king, as the scientists came to worship the Christ, let us endeavor to continue the quest of Jesus Christ being alive in our lives. Merry Christmas to each and every one of you.